In his small room, hidden somewhere in the midst of the vast metropolis, Freddie Freeman writes, in his diary. Dear diary, somewhere in the city there is a terrible criminal, threatening to become the king of crime, known only as the shadow that walked. I can't identify yet who or what the walking shadow is, but I expect to find out. Let's see. The police report that two murders have been committed. Both in the uptown district. And in both cases, a message was left with the corpse. A message which read, The shadow that walks. This sounds like a tough job. But let's leave Freddie Freeman as he begins his search and, let's turn to their editorial offices of the Herald Globe. You call yourselves reporters. The town is overrun by a hoodlum calling himself the walking shadow and you bring me stories about a pet dachshund. If the walking shadow finds the Juman treasure, he may succeed in becoming the king of crime. If the police can't find the killer, how can you expect us, T.O. write about him or it? The police aren't working for Herald Globe. I expect you, Miss Blake, and you, Jerry Flad, to be the police in this town. Now get out. I don't know about you, Yvonne, but I'm heading for the spot where the last murder occurred. They say, the killer always returns. I think I'll pick my own hunting grounds. I'll see you later, Jerry. Jerry Flood leads to one of the tougher sections of town. I must have been right. There's a light in the room. Up with them. Both of you. Why? What are you two doing here? The walking shaw. It's the walking shadow. Suppose I answer that, Jerry Flado. They were searching the room on my orders and Spike just died for trying to talk too much, as will you. But other side Freddy hears the conversation of the walking shadow. Captain Marvel. A defending roar of thunder crashes through the night. <laughs> Captain Marvel Jr. Ha! Huh. Another one to die. Ooh. Even your great strength can't harm the walking shadow. Well, I'll be, I went right through the wall. The walking shadow is gone. You must have destroyed it. I don't think so. I don't know what happened, but it. The walking shadow. Got away. Well, anyway we have his henchman. He used to be one of Shoes Mechan's men, and... He's vanished too. This is no place for a healthy guy like me. I've got it. A real banner headline. Yeah. What is it? A beautiful child contest. I saw the walking shadow. I saw Captain Marvel Jr. Where have you been, Jerry? To the movies? Go on, Jerry. Not only that. But I'll bet you a new hat. I know who the walking shadow is. I had the drop on two of Shoes Mechan's gunmen when the walking shadow came to rescue them. Bang out your story and then find McCann, Jerry. If it is Shoes, we want him before the police get him. The entire city is flooded with newsboys selling extras and among them is the small crippled lad. Extra. Extra. Read all about Captain Marvel Jr. and the shadow that walks. Let's have a paper, kid. Shoes Mechan. Sure, mister. I'd better tag along and maybe I'll catch the walking shadow. Look, Shoes. How do you know that there is a lot of dough out in the old Dumont house? The walking shadow never misses. Anyway the whole town has been looking for it ever since old man Duman kicked off. Here we are, boys. All we gotta do now is find a dough and we'll be the biggest gang in the country. That's... Hey! Who is that? Hey! It's that newspaper kid. Get him. Captain Marvel. You gents, looking for someone? 
It's the Marvel Junior. Keep. Get him. Quit grabbing and shoot. Get a load of that. He don't even feel the bullets. But you're going to feel something. Start spilling the dope. What's this about a Dumont treasure? Is Shoes the walking shadow? Shield me, I dunno. Look, kid, give me a break. I got a big income that to pay this year, and... Hope. Somebody's in that old house. Oops. You again. I'm the shadow that walks. If you enter that house, you will find only death. Oh, yeah. Ho. Huh. You've met your match at last. Nothing can harm me. Gone again. Vanished before my very eyes. What can it be? Thank heavens you arrived. It was just about to get me, too. Hmm. A girl. I'm not surprised to find anyone out this night. What do you mean? It was just about to get you, too? A walk in shadow. A ghostly thing from the shadows. It already got got poor Jerry was back there. Dead. He was Jerry Flad. We both worked for the Herald Globe, and we came out here to get a story on Dumont's treasure. Then. No need to tell me any more. I can see what happened to Flad. You see, years ago old Dumont died, leaving a vast store of wealth somewhere within these walls. Many people have tried to find it, but all have failed. Recently, this weird creature the walking shadow appeared on the scene. And all who try to reach the treasure are killed off by it. Horrible. Isn't it? Hmm. Yes, of course. But come, it's time you were getting back home. Not me. I've got a story for the paper, and I mean to publish it. I'll have the police pick up Shoes and his men. While I do some investigating. Feel sorry for Jerry. But a headline is a headline. Great work, Yvonne. This is getting serious, Chief. Someone has to stop the walking shadow. Well, that's up to the police. I'm only trying to sell papers. You'd better go home and get some sleep. Hard day tomorrow. You? Aren't you Captain Marvel Jr.? Yes. I want you to do me a favor. Anything you want. Go ahead. Let me look through your files. Sometime later, Captain Marvel Jr. enters a one-room apartment in another section of town. I hate to do this snooping. But it's necessary. And now to find the walking shadow before there is another murder. Looking for more stories, Miss Blake. Oh. Why? Uh. Yes, of course. I was just. Just looking for the treasure. Ever see this before? Miss Yvonne. Sergo. Blake. Fool. What's that got to do with the walking shadow? I don't do that with my hands. Keep out of my business. I'm a reporter. Easy, Miss Blake. No use getting excited. Say. What's this? Very clever, Miss Blake. So this is the walking shadow. Let's see how it works. I just press a button, a light shines against the wall, creating a big, big shadow. Now if anybody else were in the room, I could throw my voice at the shadow, attract their attention and then kill them. Posing as a reporter you tried to scare everybody away so you could claim the treasure. Miss Blake. She's gone. Up here, you meddler. 
But you'll never get me. I'll kill you first. Die. Die. Feels like a feather cushion. I failed. Dumont's treasure is still hidden. But you'll never get me. No. Don't. Don't. The murderess chooses the easy way out. And hurtles to the depths below. It is the end of the shadow that walked. Well, Dumont's treasure was found later by the police. What a story. No. Guess I'd better leave things as they are. Few people would believe it anyway. She paid for her crimes. And that's that. Dear Diary. So Miss Blake was the walking shadow. But I would never have found out, if I hadn't seen blood on her arm when Jerry was killed. That was when I got suspicious of her. She was probably killed in the dive, but sometimes I wonder.